Snest Giant. Hi there, allow me to be the 999,000th person to make a list of Super Nintendo games that need or deserve Super Nintendo sequels. Before I get started, I want to point out that some games do kinda sorta have sequels on other systems. Like, Super Metroid has Metroid Fusion and Metroid Zero Mission on the Game Boy Advance, which is really pretty dang close to a Super Nintendo. Would I like to see another Super Nintendo Metroid game? Who wouldn't? And that goes without saying for a lot of games, but here's 10 games in particular I really wish existed. The first game I'll talk about is ActRaiser. Already I'm kind of cheating since it did get a sequel, but not a sequel anyone really wanted. I reviewed both games, and the second one is kind of disappointing because they completely removed the quote unquote simulation aspect. You know how some people describe ActRaiser as SimCity combined with a side scroller? Well it's really not obviously, as the city building stuff is nowhere near as complex as even the Super Nintendo version of SimCity. I actually want to see that though, let's see some detail there, or maybe even add a real-time strategy component to things, while keeping and improving the side scrolling levels. Next is Demon's Crest. I gave this game a negative review a while back, and I think it's one of the most overhyped Super Nintendo games, but still, it has so much potential, there's so many great ideas here, so I'd love to see a sequel, really not just for the continuation of the awesome Gargoyles Quest universe, but just to correct some stuff in Demon's Crest too. Like for example, provide some actual direction, as in, tell me where the hell to go for god's sake, and add a few more areas to explore, and polish the level design a bit more so we can have some fun with all of Firebrand's abilities. Staying in that same universe, I'd also love to see a Super Nintendo sequel to Super Ghouls and Ghosts, but for the completely opposite reason. I just want more of this world, I want more levels, I want more challenge. They don't even have to change or update the graphics or anything, I simply just want more Super Ghouls and Ghosts. If there's any flaws to be addressed in this game, it's that a bunch of the weapons are just plain useless, so maybe some new weapons should be in order. Otherwise, nothing fancy with this game, just give me six new levels. Next there's Gradius 3. I really enjoy this game a lot, it's one of my favorite shoot 'em ups The customized weapon power-up sequencing is great, and the levels are all unique and really look fantastic. However, it had one fatal flaw, the slowdown. Yep, that's right. Remember the days when the games pushed hardware to the point that the game lagged like crazy? Super R-Type had that problem too, but way worse. In fact, it might have had the most slowdown problems of any Super Nintendo game. But they made a tremendous follow-up game with R-Type 3, The Third Lightning. Gradius 3 never had a Super Nintendo follow-up, sadly, but I really think it could have made a similar leap that the R-Type series made. I also want to mention Super Tennis. I did a review of this game not too long ago, and in my opinion, it's the best tennis game on the system. Yes, even better than Smash Tennis, people from Europe. But it would have been nice to see this game get the official World Tennis Tour treatment. Take the same game engine, but add real players and real tournaments. No offense to Meyer and Brian and the rest, but I'd rather play as Roger Federer or Rafael Nadal, or even Pete Sampras or Andre Agassi. Also, this game would have to include a real battery save. No 7,000 character passwords, please. F-Zero is another game that I think should have had a Super Nintendo sequel. It was impressive enough as a launch title back in 1991, but I really think they could have made a ton of improvements and created some more game modes on a second Super Nintendo game, rather than wait for F-Zero X on N64. It would have been cool to see a feature like being able to create your own racetracks like Excitebike for NES. In fact, since this game is on the Virtual Console, it'd be pretty badass if you could just add that feature plus the ability to share and play other people's tracks. I'm not even sure if that's feasible, but it would be a pretty cool option that I'd like to see. Sparkster is a game that was rife with potential. It seems some people tend to dismiss this game on the Super Nintendo because the series originated on the Sega Genesis, but Sparkster is an original game, not a port, and it really should have spawned its own series of Super Nintendo games. This is another example of a game like Super Ghouls and Ghosts, where I would just like more of this world. Keep the gameplay and graphics the same, just more levels, more huge bosses, and maybe add a couple extra abilities for Sparkster 2, kinda like how Mega Man X transitioned to Mega Man X2. Of course, there's Yoshi's Island. You'd be crazy if you didn't want a sequel to this game. I was disappointed that both the Game Boy Advance and the 3DS settled for remakes rather than crafting a sequel in the same world. Granted, the 3DS version has a couple new bells and whistles, but it's still the same game. But yeah, they obviously put a ton of effort and resources into this game, not only in the art design, but in the variety of gameplay features here as well. So it seems like kind of a waste to limit it to just one game. It's unlikely, but man, I really hope they include this game in Mario Maker. Next there's Illusion of Gaia, and yeah, technically this game has a quote-unquote sequel in Terra Enigma, but I'm talking about a true sequel to the, uh, very strange story in Illusion of Gaia. 
I really like the top-down action gameplay, and some of the dungeons are as inventive as any you'll find on any Super Nintendo game. But the story was so dang weird, I just feel like there's an opportunity there to not only give a deeper explanation as to what the hell is supposed to be happening, but maybe expand its universe as well, and hey, maybe even work in the rest of the trilogy, Soul Blazer and Terra Enigma, into the story as well. Imagine that. Last, of course, I have to mention Chrono Trigger. It's only my favorite game of all time. Why wouldn't I want a true sequel? And really, Chrono Cross barely even counts as a sequel. In fact, if you haven't played it, you'd do your own expectations good if you didn't think of it as a sequel at all. Not to slag on Chrono Cross, it's a perfectly good game on its own, but it's no Chrono Trigger, that's for damn sure. Anyway, I know fan-made ROM hacks like Crimson Echoes and the subsequent Flames of Eternity exist, and from what little I've played of them, they seem like perfectly okay games, but Chrono Trigger deserves better than just okay. But yeah, one pipe dream I have is to actually write my own Chrono Trigger sequel. Hey, why not? I've only played and finished the game like 40 times. But yeah, spoiler alert! I love the idea of a crazy deranged Magus, so obsessed with finding Shala that he becomes this mad scientist magician guy trying to open his own time portals with crazy amplified magic or something. Only he ends up opening the place where Lavos died, but nobody noticed Lavos left a message. They are coming. The mother of all Lavos creatures is coming to avenge its dead. I'm imagining, like, the mother alien in the movie Aliens. Anyway, I'm just bullshitting random ideas I have for a sequel. Don't take it seriously. If you have your own ideas, leave a comment. I'd love to hear them. In the meantime, that about does it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.